I think at this point in history, Donald Trump, uh, I agree with you, should be up in the polls. The reason he's not is that after he was shot, people had an expect expectation that he would modify a little bit, and he has not. Uh, he picks fights, and the fights don't help him. They don't help the American people. Well, Republicans are not happy with Trump right now. They think he should be doing better than he is in the polls, and they really wish that he would focus. But does Trump even know how to focus? That's never really been his strong suit. He can barely answer an interview question or deliver an address or even post something on social media without getting distracted and going off script. Now he's losing and he hates losing more than he hates anything. And he is losing to a woman of color, no less, which I'm sure he also doesn't like. With Biden out of the race, Trump's own mental and cognitive failings are on display more than ever. He is incoherent, his rants on truth social are even more difficult to follow than they usually are, which is saying something. He's grasping for straws as to why he can't debate Kamala Harris. And ultimately, this man who prides himself on being a paragon of masculinity is looking rather weak and frail. Uh, he, his own Republican colleagues are begging him actually to get it together at this point, bemoaning his public nervous breakdown and total lack of focus. Hey, don't scroll away, dit, dit, dit. come back, come back. Because before the video continues, we just wanna urge you to lend your support to TYT. You power our honest reporting, you do it at tyt.com slash team and we love you for it. And according to reporting from Politico, several Republicans are frustrated with Trump's personal attacks against Harris, concerned that he's alienating more voters than he's attracting, specifically with his attacks against her race. Here is Lindsey Graham of all people practically begging Trump to stay on message in an interview on Fox News. The problem I have with Kamala Harris is not her heritage, it's her judgment. She has been wrong about everything. When she tried to explain what she would do about inflation and an upcoming, upcoming recession, it made no sense, it's gibberish. She's been in the witness protection program. Nobody will ask her a hard question. Every day we're talking about her heritage and not her terrible, dangerous liberal record throughout her entire political life is a good day for her and a bad day for us. So I would encourage Senator, President Trump to prosecute the case against Kamala Harris's bad judgment. It doesn't seem that he's received that message yet. But they're also disappointed in his attacks on her intelligence, calling her low IQ and dumb and claiming that she lacks the mental capacity to debate him. Here is what Barrett Marson, a Republican strategist in Arizona had to say on the matter. He said, anytime Trump isn't talking about inflation, immigration and the economy, he's not winning voters. Going after Harris, Harris's intellect isn't going to move middle of the road voters. They're not going to care about whether a former prosecuting attorney is dumb or smart. They want to hear about a plan to rein in inflation and bring down interest rates and make the economy work for the middle class. He later added that Trump wants the bouncy house that is a Fox News crowd for the debate against Harris. They're also unhappy with Trump for attacking Georgia's Republican governor, Brian Kemp, while he was campaigning in Georgia. Who does that? Georgia, as a reminder, is a crucial swing state where Kamala Harris is currently up in the polls. Here he is at a Georgia rally. Take a look. Your governor, Kemp, and Raffensperger are doing everything possible to make 2024 difficult for Republicans to win. That What are they doing? I don't know. They got something in mind, you know, they got a little something in mind. Kemp is very bad for the Republican Party. He's the most disloyal guy I think I've ever seen. Somewhere he went bad. And you know what? Your numbers in Georgia are very average. Your crime numbers, your economic numbers, all of your numbers, you're a very average. You can do a lot better and you'll do a lot better with a better governor. I got this guy nominated. I then got him elected. Without me, he doesn't get nominated and he doesn't get elected. He had no chance of winning either one, and all he had to do is sign something where the Senate would like to look at election integrity. Oh my God, that went on for so long. That was at a Georgia rally where he was trying to get support from Georgia voters, and he just went there and said all these terrible things about their very popular Republican governor. So in response, an anonymous GOP strategist told Politico this. He said, Democrats are racing to remake Kamala Harris from real life Selena Meyer into the female Obama. 
and Donald Trump's lack of discipline is letting them. Every day, Trump swipes at shiny objects, attacking the popular governor of a swing state, questioning the race of his opponent, or battling cat lady comments by his VP, is the day he is letting Harris define herself on her own terms. God forbid a woman define herself on her own terms. And that Selena Meyer reference, in case you didn't get it, is a reference to Julia Louis-Dreyfus's character on the show Veep. And for further evidence that Trump is not going to grow up anytime soon, his latest attack against Kamala Harris is repeatedly misspelling her name on Truth Social. He's now calling her Kamabla everywhere. And this is obviously incredibly childish and ignorant. Not to mention disrespectful, and yes, it is racist. This is exactly what it's like when people just can't be bothered to learn to say your name properly because it's too ethnic. We've all been there. He knows what he's doing. He's never called her this before, and it makes him look unintelligent. But the Republicans trying to reel Trump in all of a sudden is kind of hilarious, Jank. They're acting as if they like as if they've never as if they've ever had any control over Trump. But no, they've never been able to control him. This is the guy that they all swore fealty to because they could not control him or his base. These same people who control the entire country cannot deal with this toddler of a man. It's just funny to me how they're acting like this is suddenly a new problem for them. What do you think, Cenk? Yeah, so I contended at the beginning of this race that the Democrats had a candidate that was too old. And the Republicans had a candidate that was too crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm right about both. And uh, we already proved it with Joe Biden. Now, next mission is to prove it with Donald Trump. Uh, I think it's been proven 2,000 times over, but Democrats don't have a, a, in the past, they have not had great communication to say the least. And they have not been able to drive home a message. The message is this guy is nuts. So, first, I mean, there's, 2000 examples, I'm gonna give you a couple. But by the way, Trump brackets that I were showing right here, trumpbrackets.com. Literally, you guys sent in hundreds of submissions. Craziest, dumbest things he said or done. We're winning it down to 64 and then we're gonna do my March Madness style brackets. You guys are involved in every part of this. And right now we're asking you to pick top three choices out of 10 choices we're giving you so we can get down to 64. So go to trumpbrackets.com and uh, hit top three to participate. But the reason we're doing that is exactly this story. First of all, Kamabla? What the hell is Kamabla? He's doing it over and over again. He just did it again uh, right before we got on air. Kamabla? What is, that, is that, are you trying to make it more racial? Kamala's pretty ethnic to begin with. How does Kamabla? help you, what kind of lunatic makes up a childish, look, if you say, hey, he's having fun and he doesn't believe in civility and he's gonna call you know, Jeb Bush sleepy or Marco Rubio uh, a boy or whatever, right? You know me, I like to have fun, I get it. But Kamabla, what does that mean? That's just like a weird racial thing to say that has no logical connection to anything else. People don't know what you're talking about. Look, the guy's always been a lunatic. Remember when he changed the path of the hurricane, a hurricane, as he was showing it on national TV, he had changed it with a Sharpie to prove himself right because he, the, the idiot had not been listening at all when they were giving him a briefing about the hurricane and he said the path wrong. So he literally changed it with a Sharpie. He's so stupid. And the idea that this guy's talking about anybody else's intelligence. Guys, what are we forgetting the most obvious things? Why are we ignoring it? At the, at the height of COVID, he thought we should inject disinfectant into our bodies. Look, man, I know it's embarrassing. Some people don't get that that's not a good idea, that it would kill you. I get some of you, like some of MAGA doesn't get that. And so they think it's no big deal. Oh, that's an honest mistake. But for the rest of us, we would make that guy president again? Have you not lived long enough to know that putting disinfectant inside your body is not going to help you, it's going to significantly hurt you. Disinfectant is for surfaces, not for the human body. I mean, look, one of millions of millions of him, of statements from him that are so asinine that you think, does this guy have mental health issues? 
And the answer is a resounding yes. He once asked if we should nuke a hurricane. Do you know how stupid you have to be to even ask that question? He said on tape twice that he thought the F-35 stealth fighters were invisible to the naked eye. I, okay, they fooled me once, as George W. Bush said, uh, shame on you. Fool, we can't get fooled again. The second time, did no one correct them? They're not invisible. It's not Wonder Woman's jet, okay? No, this guy's a moron of epic proportions. And that's if he isn't mentally unbalanced, which I think he is. So you think he's gonna turn around? He ain't gonna turn around. All he's gonna do is racial attacks, attacks against other Republicans for no reason in the middle of a campaign. Why? Brian Kemp wouldn't cheat. He wouldn't cheat me. Governor Kemp wouldn't cheat for me. He's not a cheater like I am. <laughs> you loser baby. This is how you're gonna run a winning election? No, this guy's gonna clown himself. He's gonna punch himself in the face approximately 287 times between now and election day. Kamala Harris and Tim Walz are partly going to win this election, but mainly from now on, Donald Trump is gonna do nothing but lose this election. He's a massive, massive loser. And he's gonna do nothing but the most counterproductive attacks because he doesn't know any better. He's an imbecile. I think I've been pretty clear. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just to go back to that, uh, what you were saying, his most, his latest Kamabla truth on Truth Social, uh, we can put it up, it says, what are the chances that crooked Joe Biden, the worst president in the history of the US, whose presidency was unconstitutionally stolen from him by Kamabla, Barack Hussein Obama, crazy Nancy Pelosi, shifty Adam Schiff, <clears throat> crying Chuck Schumer, and others on the lunatic left, crashes the Democrat National Convention and tries to take back the nomination, beginning with challenging me to another debate. He feels that he made a historically tragic mistake by handing over the US presidency, a coup to the people in the world he hates most, and he wants it back now. Someone online said that he was just writing fan fiction at this point. Like what, he thinks that Joe Biden is gonna walk into the DNC and say, hey guys, I'm taking back my nomination. And he's gonna immediately challenge Donald Trump to another debate. And he's gonna, he's gonna stick it to all these people who he hates so, so much. I, it, I, it's really unhinged, it's crazy. Yeah, I gotta say one last thing about that. What yeah. does he think he's doing? Like, does he think that he's gonna like give Joe Biden this idea and Biden's gonna be like, you're right. And he's gonna be like Hulk Hogan, you know, one down two, and then the third one, oh, here I comes Joe Biden. He is like, this is like a WWE script. You yeah. moron, there's no chance that Joe Biden's gonna come back. You don't know that? And you're trying to start a conspiracy theory about how Joe Biden's gonna come back? Look, mm -hmm. if you're a Republican and you're not absolutely embarrassed of Donald Trump, uh, I don't know that I can help you. And we were honest, we were embarrassed about Joe Biden, and we were you know, brave enough, smart enough to change our candidate. But you guys are stuck with Donald Trump. Good luck to you, you're gonna need it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew we were in trouble back whenever Copete was happening. Do you guys remember that? And then all the conspiracy theories came out about what it could mean. What does it mean? Nobody knew what it meant. It meant nothing. It was gibberish. It didn't go anywhere. But that was, what was that, like 2017 or something? You know, we've been dealing with this for so long, almost 10 years, this guy. And it the whole time, it's felt like everyone who is not MAGA MAGA is just being gaslit constantly. By people telling us, oh, this is all totally normal. Nothing is weird about this. Tim Walls and Kamala Harris are the first ones who are like, everything about this is weird. And thank God, because it feels like we can all just be like, yeah, like this is not, none of this is normal. But you know what, Cenk? Uh, you can't have a Joker without a Batman. So maybe, maybe Trump, I don't, maybe Trump thinks he's the Batman. He needs his Joker. <laughs> yeah, here's what he's, he's not anywhere near a Batman. He, I actually think Joker, uh, the first Joaquin Phoenix movie, was modeled okay. after Trump. Uh, but that's a whole different theory. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.